Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Emmanuel Lasker and Samuel Tinsley. This game was played in Hastings in 1895. Emmanuel Lasker had white pieces and he started with e4. Samuel Tinsley played e6. d4. d5. The French defense. Knight to c3. d takes on e4. Knight takes pawn on e4. Knight to f6. White to move. Quite often white plays knight takes knight on f6 check. Emmanuel Lasker played bishop to d3. Bishop to e7, knight to f3, knight from b to d7, and both players cast at king's side. c3 supporting the pawn on d4. b6 intending bishop to b7 and c5. Queen to e2, bishop to b7, rook to d1, lining the rook with the black queen and discouraging c5. Rook to e8, and now c4, intending knight to c3. a5, knight to c3, queen to c8, perhaps intending now c5. Bishop to f4, bishop to d6, bishop to e5, black to move. Bishop takes knight on f3 was played, and the Lasca recaptured with the pawn. If queen takes on f3, then knight takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, and black is a pawn up. So we have g takes on f3, black to move, bishop takes bishop was played. This looks good on a surface. But better move was queen to b7. So what is wrong with bishop takes pawn on e5? d takes on e5 forcing the knight to move. And what is the best clear for the knight? Knight to h5 was played, intending knight to f4 forking the queen and the bishop. White to move. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for white. Emmanuel Lasca played Bishop takes pawn on h7 check, black to move, king to h8. If king takes bishop, then queen to d3 check, fork in the king and the knight on d7. After king to g8, queen takes knight. So we have a king to h8, but now bishop to e4, saving the bishop and attacking the rook on a8. c6, f4, attacking the knight. Inviting black to capture the pawn on f4. Knight takes pawn on f4. Queen to d2, forking both knights. Knight to h3 check. King to h1. King to g2 also works. After knight takes pawn on e5, king takes knight. Lasca had a different idea. He played king to h1, also clearing the g file for the rook. G5, what else? If knight takes on e5, Laska would welcome this. He would play then queen to e3. And how to save the knight on h3. So, Tinsley played g5. White has a choice. In this position, Laska played bishop to g2. Queen takes on d7 also works. We have, we have bishop to g2, attacking the knight. Knight takes pawn on e5, bishop takes knight on h3, f6. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? Emmanuel Lasker played the best move. f4, knight to f7. Well, uh, Tinsley considered the knight takes on c4, but then after queen to e2, black knight is too far away from the king's side, and can't help in defense of the king. Back to our game. We have knight to f7, knight to e4 attacking the pawn on f6. The position is very difficult for black. Tinsley play with black pieces. 
seriously considered to offer a draw. Only reason he didn't know how far a draw was, he thought that Laska would laugh out loud. So he played g4, going for an interesting trick. Bishop takes pawn on g4, f5. This was the trick. Forking the bishop and the knight. Which piece to save? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? White. Play the move and black resigned. The move is a queen to c3 check. Black resigned. Let's have a look at 12 possible continuations by black. Hmm, maybe 12 is too much. Only 11. First variation. If e5 is played, then queen to h3 check. King to g7, bishop takes pawn on f5. And it is hard to see how black king can survive in this position. What else can black do? After check, if king goes to g8, then knight to f6 check, king to f8, knight to h7 check, king to g8, rook to g1, something like queen to d8, then bishop takes pawn on f5, discover check, and there is a checkmate in 6. And what else? After check. If king goes to h7. Then bishop takes on f5. Pawn takes bishop. Rook to g1 intending queen to g7 checkmate. If rook to g8 preventing checkmate. Then queen to h3 check. Knight to h6. Knight to f6 check. King to h8, white to move, and to play the obvious move. What is the obvious move? The obvious move is queen takes knight, check, mate. What a lovely game, and a nice attack by Emmanuel Laska. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.